Hey, this is Keith with I Build Your Own Home, and I wanted to give you an update on the greenhouse. You thought I'd forgotten all about that. This is a post uh, or a series I started about a year ago, probably a little more than a year ago. And I showed you the underground earth battery that we put in, and then over time we were building the greenhouse. So let me take you in and show you what we did. This is the inside. We don't have anything growing just yet. Uh, we finished the frame structure. Uh, I did hurry and plant two orange trees because <laughs> I wanted to get those going. Um, if you've noticed the large um, tube over there, the pipe over there, the 18 inch diameter pipe, that there goes in the ground and this one here goes into the ground as well. And they tee off down below on previous posts I did on this. And they're all connected with a four inch perforated pipe. So I've got an earth battery below this greenhouse. A little overkill, but I have the uh, heavy equipment and I'm a general contractor, so I know a guy. <laughs> so I was able to dig that out, get it all done. That sat for quite some time. And then we put a foundation down. And that's one thing that I see a lot of greenhouse builders not do, especially in colder climates. They'll put up a hoop house or something like that, and they won't have a good foundation to keep the wicking coming into the greenhouse. And so you've got cold outside uh, dirt or earth working its way into the greenhouse. Uh, so I actually put this on a foundation. I wanted more stability. I wanted a more permanent structure. I don't like to build things that are going to be good for a year or two or just a few. I like to build things that are going to last quite some time. So I've got a, a, a covering over this on this greenhouse. And this is called a solo wrap. <clears throat> and it's a very thick, more dense wrap. It's a bubble wrap. It's not the kind of wrap you put uh, presents and wrap things around and ship them with. This is an actual greenhouse wrap. And the outside sticker, the inside here has got a film on it to keep it from having condensation buildup. So we, that was an expense. And it diffuses the light, it diffuses the harsher UV light into the greenhouse. Uh, and it's great for bringing light under the plants, around the plants, all over the plants. And it's not as hot in here as it could be. It's actually a cooler greenhouse than I've been in a lot of other hoop houses. You've noticed I've got some high <laughs> ceiling here. This hoop house is 13 feet high. My reason for that is, is that I live in a very hot climate and I wanted to get the heat up and away from the plants and we'll eventually vet it, uh, vent it out. I'll have a wet wall at that end. I'll have some fans at this end. But right now it's very comfortable in here. It is a cool day today outside but it's actually a very modest, very nice comfort right inside the greenhouse. We did <coughs> build the trusses, uh, <coughs> the purlins here with the redwood, and I've got a picture of that where we actually manufactured those in the, in the garage next door here, and I had sawdust <laughs> everywhere, glue everywhere. It was a mess, so my wife was happy to see that done. And then I have some purlins here for some strength, for some support, some extra back backing here. Uh, um, just a really strong, greenhouse. So a couple of nights ago we had some really strong wind and I was very worried. We had a, um, a table on the side of the house over here fall down and, and the, uh, the cover over the barbecue got stripped off by the wind and a lot of other things. But I came out here and the wind was just going right over the greenhouse. It's really, really sturdy. It's not going anywhere. So I wanted to build something that would last. I wanted to build something with some, the best technology I could so that I can enjoy this for, for quite some time. Let's go outside and I'll show you the bubble wrap. Okay, this here is the system that I chose to put on the greenhouse and it's got a plastic uh, guide here and we actually end up screw that on with some grommets that have a gasket on there. And the bubble wrap literally slid right inside that. So I have a complete membrane, a complete cover over the greenhouse, very well secured. And so water's not gonna get, if there's some rain or what have you, it's not going to get inside the greenhouse. It's a completely, a complete envelope, basically, is what it is. Uh, it, 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 you, it was kind of hard to put on, but I put some WD-40 in there and it slid just fine. So it was, it was fun to put on. It looks a lot smaller in the ins on the outside and in the inside, but I'm going to do another post on uh, how we finish it off on the inside. I do want to put an aquaponic system inside there. I want to put some uh, fish, an actual fish tank, a 2,000 gallon koi pond and we're going to be using that for recirculation for some of the aquaponics that I want to do. Some deep river rafts, some, some grow beds, and then some trees on the north side that I'll have climb up because I've got 13 plus feet 
So I've got plenty of room, and those are semi-dwarf orange trees, so they can get up to about 10 feet. So I've got plenty of room in there for that. I'm excited. It was a lot of fun. I just wanted to give you an update on it. Um, if you're interested in this, I don't have any plans for it. I actually built this from inside my head. Like you see in the pictures, we actually manufactured all the, the, the purlins here inside the, the garage. That was not easy. I do want to show one thing on the inside that I missed. Let's go in there real quick. So basically what you see, what I wanted to show you is kind of explain to you how I put this together. I do have a, a beam going right across the top. I wanted some strength. And this is basically a full circle, if you think about it. We're, we're a little bit past the midway section of the circle. And if you can imagine a whole big, huge tube and cutting in half and putting it on the ground, that's basically a kind of a hoop house, but this is a much higher. And so you see that this here is one truss that we built and it lands right on the, the beam. This is another truss that's built and it lands right on the beam. And I wanted that kind of rigidity. So we actually manufactured one of these at a time inside the garage. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of people are gonna think that how do you build the whole thing? Oh, it's actually a quarter circle, <laughs> if that makes sense. A quarter circle there and a quarter circle there. And if you can imagine another quarter circle on the ground, another quarter circle on the ground there, that's basically what, what we built. But of course we didn't build the underground part because we got have we have a foundation. So I wanted to go over that with you just to show you that it's not that hard. It just takes a lot of time to glue each one of these. And we had one or two of these that when we bent them, they did, they did break on us. So I put them outside at night, watered them down. This is redwood and, and, and they were easier to bend. <laughs> if you try to bend these when they're dry, they're going to snap on you. And so when I watered them down, it made it much easier. And these here are glued in there <coughs> and screwed in there. So it gives a real, real rigid structure. And you can see the screws there, screws there, and then our block system here. So I just, it, it was fun. If you want any information, please uh, message me. Any thoughts you have on that. I will put a link in the description on where I got the, uh, the covering for the greenhouse. It's, it's something I'd recommend. It's very, 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 they have a warranty of over 10 years. And they've had it out there in, in a lot of commercial areas for over 25 years but they do warranty it up for 10 years, but people have been using it for that long. So I wanted something durable. It's in the description, you can check that out. Again, this is, I'll give you more update coming when we have it all finished off on the inside. It'll be a lot of fun. This is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home. Actually, How to Build Your Own Greenhouse.